inoculation for the smallpox by lady mary wortley montague this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. inoculation for the smallpox footnote letter to sarah criswell dated adrianople turkey april one old style seventeen seventeen to lady mary is usually accorded chief credit for the introduction of inoculation into western europe and footnote apropos of distempers i am going to tell you a thing that will make you wish yourself here the smallpox so fatal and so general amongst us is here entirely harmless by the invention of engrafting which is the term they give it there is a set of old women who make it their business to perform the operation every autumn in the month of september when the great heat is abated people send to one another to know if any of their family has a mind to have the smallpox they make parties for this purpose and when they are met commonly fifteen or sixteen together the old woman comes with a nutshell full of the matter of the best sort of smallpox and asks what vein you please to have opened she immediately rips open that you offer with a large needle which gives you no more pain than a common scratch and puts into the vein as much matter as can lie upon the head of her needle and after that binds up the little wound with a hollow bit of shell and in this manner opens four or five veins the grecians have commonly the superstition of opening one in the middle of the forehead one in each arm and one in the breast to mark the sign of the cross but this has a very ill effect all these wounds leaving little scars and is not done by those that are not superstitious who choose to have them in the legs or that part of the arm that is concealed the children or young patients play together all the rest of the day and are in perfect health to the eighth then the fever begins to seize them and they keep their beds two days very seldom three they have very rarely above twenty or thirty spots on their faces which never mark and in eight days time they are as well as before their illness where they are wounded there remain running sores during the distemper which i don't doubt is a great relief to it every year thousands undergo this operation and the french ambassador says pleasantly that they take the smallpox here by way of diversion as they take the waters in other countries there is no example of any one that has died in it and you may believe that i am well satisfied of the safety of this experiment since i intend to try it on my dear little son i am patriot enough to take pains to bring this useful invention into fashion in england and i should not fail to write to some of our doctors very particularly about it if i knew any one of them that i thought had virtue enough to destroy such a considerable branch of their revenue for the good of mankind but that distemper is too beneficial to them not to expose to all their resentment the hardy wight that should undertake to put an end to it perhaps if i live to return i may however have courage to war with them upon this occasion admire the heroism in the heart of your friend etc etc end of inoculation for the smallpox by lady mary wortley montague